Last time I used my GoPro, I lost all my footage because I, I didn't uh, have it positioned correctly and I don't like when that happens. Today is we're going to take a look at this Aaron's ST824. This is the third part of our video and what we're going to be doing is cracking the um, transmission housing here. So what we do is we grab it and we rock it up into the service position. But when you do this, you want to make sure you put a piece of cellophane over your gas cap or a rubber glove and then tighten that down. We're going to crack into this, see why this is sticking first of all. Might have some worn bushings here. But I want to get in here and see what's going on because we have no drive wheels. So let's check that out. Alright, so we've taken our service cover off. This has grease on it, so that's a good good sign right there. We're going to take a look at all of these bearings just to make sure things look good. Um, this wheel apparently is a new wheel. So that is a good sign. Um, the belt, the belt looks okay. This one looks original, however. I want to see if that inside there is a throwout bearing and I want to see if that bearing is going to work. So oh, if I move the so that's not seized. That's not seized. So now we got to figure out why we're not getting any drive. That that wheel is not coming in contact with that plate, which would tell me that I probably have to adjust this here. Okay, so tightening down on this bolt as I now engage, if I try to turn this plate, you'll see there's more friction on that. And if I try to move the wheels together, I can't move them. I can do it because the differential's open. I can spin them this way. But if I try to do it at the same time, I got good pressure on there. So that's going to correct that issue. The other thing I want to do, so I'm going to take these wheels off. Look further at this differential because this is this is locked up and frozen. So we want to want to figure this out. Oh, uh, it's moving. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. So we'll keep tapping. I just gotta see I got rust coming out, so that's my problem. So I want to show you how this works. There's a pin that goes in here and as you can see if I hold the axle in my hand I'm able to turn this inner axle like that. And there's holes drilled along the way that will let me lock and push that pin in and that'll lock up both of these axles. However if I have it in this position here where it's not, it's, it's just kind of the pin is not in, then I can get my, my open differential and that allows me to turn the snowblower easily. If I want to lock these two, it's very difficult to turn, but I get the best driving force through the snow. So I was pounding on this lightly. I shouldn't say I was pounding on it, but you can see a little rust coming out. And I've been able to now free this up. So this is now spinning easily. You, you can't see it, but I'll get it on my other camera. So here's how this spins now. And as you can see, there's that keyway. And there's the key. You see that? There's the key. Now I should be able to push that in. And that will then line up with one of these holes here. And that should go in just like that. Now, when I turn this, I'm turning this. And that's how this works. And all this needs is just a little bit of grease. And the grease that I'm going to use is never sees. And uh, it doesn't come out of your clothes too good either. But see, I've got that working real good. Now there's where it opens and that's where you 
should have it like that for an open differential. So I want I want this to be nice and free and and there we go. Oh, and you can see there's the spring. I've been able to free up. I knew there was a spring in there. So I've been able to free that spring up. How about that? As you can see, hear that? That is a bad, there's a bad bearing in there. That's moving side to side. That means we're gonna have to take the auger off and get to that bearing, split the case so I can get these bolts off and I can get that bearing replaced. Moving up and down on the handlebars. Should not have that kind of response. So how did we get to this point? Well, I have the tractor sitting over there and then I had to take this apart. The reason is, after I got it all back together, it still wouldn't go anywhere. I couldn't figure out why. Then I figured it out. It was a broken spring. Yep, this spring right here, this spring puts pressure on the uh, drive pulley that keeps the belt tight. And so when I started, when I started the, the snow blower, I noticed that that friction wheel there wasn't turning and that should be spinning with the engine and it wasn't and that's why it wouldn't go anywhere initially I thought it was a broken belt and it wasn't then we found a really bad bearing in there so what we're gonna do we're gonna take off these we're gonna pull off this giant pulley need to replace the brake lever brake uh, looks kind of looks a little used up there where it's all worn We'll get that straightened out. Oh, and I broke, I broke this clip. This one works and this one broke. So we're gonna order one of those. New belts are on the way, as well as a new spring. This is the third part, which I thought would be a conclusion. Next will be the fourth part. But hey, when we get done, we will have a fantastic running snowblower that will outcompete this MTD piece of junk. So uh, even though that's a nice snow blower, it's Chinese motor and thin sheet metal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up button because that means a lot to me. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button for all my past videos and future ones. We'll see you all in the next video.